What's up, JD Aliens? Yes, it is showtime once again. We have another LED projector in the building to show you. Let's do it. Alrighty, we got TFT LCD imaging technology with native 720p, uh, but it also does support 1080p. So yeah, there's that. Let's get into this box, man. Let's see if we can get some of that new stuff smell. Oh, we get a case. Well, I was not expecting a case now. Come on now. Let's look at this accessories box first. Okay, so this thing is ultra portable because it comes with a case and it's actually relatively small if you can see that. It's a little bit bigger than my hand. So we got this splitter right here, which is gonna be a 3.5 millimeter input. And then you got your video and your audio left and right there. And then you got a power cable, which is pretty standard when it comes to projectors. You can see that input right there. And we got a an HDMI cable, which is always nice. I'm so glad they put these in here because this is just like, you plug it in, you point this thing at whatever you're gonna cast it on and you're ready to go. You don't have to go to the store and buy anything extra. Let's see what kind of remote they give you. Usually you get a standard remote. Is this one gonna be different? Nope, this one's the same. Yeah, you get the standard remote with this one. Ugh, getting frustrated with that. All right, so yeah, standard remote, which you got your mute and your you got your play buttons there and your fast forward and back. Got a multi-directional pad, okay, menu and all that good stuff on there. So there's that, but you do not get batteries. Man, they, they almost hit a home run, but you never get batteries with these things. So, but it's all right, I got some batteries. So we actually do get a nice case, man. It's got padding on it. That way, if you drop the projector, it's still gonna be protected. And you can also transport it this way. Let's open it up and it's all strapped down. Look at it, it's got seat belts. Let's open up these seat belts here. This thing is so small, man. So you got your company branding right there. That looks like an IR sensor right there. And on the front, you got your lens and you got, oh, this is different. Usually they put the keystone and the focus ring on the top. There is no ring there, it's just like a lever. Well, technically it's a ring, but this is your keystone. You got about a 15 degree keystone adjustment. Then there's your focus ring right there, which actually pulls out that lens and now it's all exposed. So let's go ahead and put that back in there because I don't want to put any fingerprints on it. Let's go to the top. So here we're looking at a menu button. We're looking at a forward and back and okay. And then we got an input button, a back and a power button got a fan on the back side, speaker grill right here, and you got your power input, two USB inputs, you got your AV input, headphone input, which is cool, another IR input right there, then you got your VGA there. Is that a VGA? I forget, what, serial? This VGA, my bad. <laughs> okay, there it is. Then you got these feet on the bottom. So right here, I'm seeing this little thing for like a tripod, a quarter inch input right there. So you can put this on a tripod if you need to, and then you have your little your little knob right here where you can unscrew it to kind of level it out kind of just comes out that way you can get an adjustment in the angle but i wonder if these come off because a lot of times i don't think they actually you know can be wall mounted from a ceiling or nothing like that so let's just see if there's some screws in there nope no screws in there so this cannot be wall mounted but i'm glad it has these feet and you can also put it on a tripod as well so let's just go ahead and see how this thing looks on the big screen okay since i just turned the sound all the way down we'll go ahead and start off with that uh, the speakers, um, they're not the best speakers. You know, it's a mini projector, so you gotta manage your expectations there. But they do get the job done. So if in a pinch you just need to use the onboard speakers, you should be just fine. Now let's just move on to the obvious. Look at that picture. I like showcasing animals and wildlife on my projector reviews simply because not only do you get to see the beauty of nature, but man, you really get to see how the projector can really perform. Now this is a 4K video being played through YouTube. Uh, so it's being downgraded to a 720p image via this projector, but it's still very, very clean. I don't see any pixelation in there, no grid or anything like that. I have it on the dynamic setting, so you can see it right there where it says picture mode. I put it on dynamic so it'll make the colors pop a little bit and it doesn't oversaturate them. A lot of projectors really oversaturate the pictures to just try to kind of trick you, I guess. But this one does a really good job uh, with the dynamic setting, making the color seem more naturally reproduced. And it just looks fantastic. I don't think I'm gonna change it at all as far as the color settings. Like it almost looks like you can just pet that tiger. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but yeah, you could do that if you wanted to. As you can see here with the Rams facing the Buccaneers, yes, you can watch sports. So the picture frames will keep up 
with whatever's going on and everything's gonna look nice and clean. You get to see your big image there. Everything's gonna look fantastic when you're watching whatever sport you choose. Another big question people like to ask is, can I do a PowerPoint presentation with this? I will go ahead and say yes, but you will need to at least make sure the room is extremely dim, if not dark. That way you can actually get the best image quality possible from your PowerPoint. When it comes to seeing fonts and letters and stuff like that, yes, you can see them. But I will say, make sure you center the projector as best as possible. That way, when it's time to align your keystone and focus, you can get some tack sharp focus and that way you'll be able to see all the fonts and letters without too much pixelation in there. But yeah, you can definitely pass this off with the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, next big question. Can I use this thing for gaming? Absolutely. You're gonna love gaming on the big screen, obviously, because it makes everything huge. Everything is gonna look just as good as it does with sports and movies. But one thing I do wanna talk about is the sound of the fan. Uh, I'm sitting probably three feet away from the fan and yes, I can hear it. It's not incredibly loud to where it's gonna annoy you and you can't focus on what you're doing or watching, but you will hear the fan. Overall, I do like what I'm seeing here and I think this will be a good projector if you're looking at it in this price range. Okay, for the money spent, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up because I like what I experienced in my media room there. I can't express enough the importance of lining your projector up correctly when you actually do cast that image. That way, when you get your image on all four corners and the center, it should be all focused and everything should be good to go around the entire picture, not just in the middle. So that's what I did with this one and everything worked out great. So if this is something you've been looking at, I say go ahead and pull the trigger, man. You're gonna be all right if you get this one. But enough about this thing, let's talk about my Instagram account. Yeah, I got Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that, but I'm always on Instagram. So follow me there if you wanna chat after this video. But if you had a good time checking out this projector with me, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You gonna have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?